Ben Simmons. No, I it's don't... time to go! Yeah! Look, all right, guys. I didn't know what the post gameplay was. I didn't play yesterday. I should have. You know, it is what it is. That's on me. But I don't know if you guys know this. I'm a huge sports fan. Um, so I think once a week, I'm just going to talk about sports, too. And one thing that was bugging me this week was Ben Simmons. Now, look, I'm a Knicks fan, so I could really give a rat's fucking ass what happens to the Nets. But just as I... As a mutual sports fan, I'm pissed off for Nets fans, dude. If there are any real Nets fans that don't live in New Jersey, but that's besides the point. This guy, Ben Simmons, fell from grace. I mean, it is ridiculous. He was the guy. He was the guy. People were saying, oh, Magic Johnson. Oh, you got a tall point guard that's physical. Or at least plays like a point guard. And then, you know, then he had a whole crisis. You don't know where he's going to play, what position um but that's besides the point the guy can't shoot the ball right but that's fine look not everyone not everyone's steph curry not everyone's going 45 percent. okay that's fine but then you gotta you gotta adjust right the kid couldn't take the heat in philly which is a big sports market and and i love the nets gm i love the idea of what they're trying to do they go hey look james harden's pissed off he doesn't want to be here anymore let's let's grab the guy that was you know i believe the number one overall pick right if i'm not bugging right same guy right he goes he goes you know what we'll get him on the cheap we'll get a couple players we we'll get guys like seth curry um and it makes sense and i get why you did it but the what you didn't realize is you some people as a yankees fan i know they don't perform well in the big market and on the big moment unfortunately ben simmons you see throughout the playoffs you know i was reading an article from last year sixers enough disappearing acts from ben simmons in the playoffs he had a horrible playoff couldn't handle the heat and just was like no i'm done here which is fine which is okay but then you gotta go play now like like are you a basketball player or are you not look i suck but i had the same amount of stats as ben simmons in the playoffs and what does that tell you the guy, oh, my back hurts. I'm sorry, bro. This is what you do. You play basketball for a living. It's not like you tore a fucking patellar tendon, right? Am I right? Am I right? He, this kid's sitting on the bench or sitting in his house watching watching KD and Kyrie, who, you know, Hall of Famers, but, but they met their match. The kid Tatum is nice. And he's just sitting there, oh, I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play. And I, I get it because you're already getting swept, right? But game four, you're not going to just suit up and say, hey, you know what? One more game. If I lose, I go play fucking golf. And if I win, hey, who knows? I still have two fucking bona fide Hall of Famers. Crazier shit's happened. I don't know. All I'm saying is it's time to go. It's time to go! It's time to go. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. If anyone gives this guy a job, if they keep this guy on the roster, I don't care how much money you have to swallow, it is not worth it. Because because the thing is too, it's the same thing with like an Antonio Brown in football. But the reason why no one wants Antonio Brown anymore isn't because of his talent, isn't because of the flash in the pan potential, it's because the guy's a fucking head case. The guy's out there, right? And no disrespect, I don't know if it has to do with anything with his head injuries, I have no idea probably isn't a bad guy but he's he's a head case in the locker room no one wants to deal with that i don't care if you're ben simmons um it, it doesn't matter i don't care like you could be the best player ever but if you don't play well with others right you get a fucking f on the report card in kindergarten for a reason it's one of the first things we look at in our society that's all i'm saying just pisses me off because then you have guys you know that are retired guys that got career ending injuries like real actual injuries i'm not saying a herniated disc isn't an injury but bro come on larry bird was playing with half a back his second half of his career i mean you see guys like that like the guys overseas that are fucking trying to get in that would have done anything that would have cut a finger off to play no ronnie lot and this guy's like mm, i don't know i'm okay i'm good i'll go wave play golf i don't know man i don't know I don't know what to say about that. And like I said, I'm not even I'm not even a Nets fan. I could really care less. But it's just something that agitates me that I just don't think is acceptable. Look, if you're hurt, you're hurt. But this guy isn't hurt. This guy, he's hurt. He's basketball hurt. He's sports hurt. But he's not hurt. Ronnie Watt cut a fucking finger off and played in the playoffs, dude. You're telling me, oh, my back hurts a little bit, bro. I mean, come on, dude. 
that's all I really got to say. That's pretty much it. It's not really going to be a long video. It's just something I've been thinking about. And it's just, it's just ridiculous. And this guy's done it to Philly. He's going to do it to Brooklyn. Wherever he goes, he's going to do it again. Hopefully they're smart enough to get this guy on the cheap, wherever he goes. And if the Nets, if the Nets keep him on, and I understand they don't want to eat the money, but then that's on you because now you, 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 you have to just, you have to sell and get rid of the head case. In 2019, he signed a five-year 170 max. Yeah, that's a whole nother can of worms. That's a whole nother thing. Do you sign these guys to long-term contracts when they're unproven? I mean, that's that's more of a gray area. Just because, look, these guys, like some guys, you'll give them the money and they'll come out and they'll just go nuts. And then, but then you have guys like this where it's like, I don't know. 170 mil, maybe my back hurts a little bit more. Maybe I don't have to play, you know? What's their incentive? That's the difference between football and baseball and basketball, which I'm not saying is a bad thing for the players. It's a good thing. But in football, it's not like you could just sit down and fucking, oh, I'll just relax. They'll fucking cut your ass. It's a different fucking game over there. I.e. Antonio Brown once again. Let me know if you like this style of video. It's something I'm very passionate about. As much as I love video games, I also love sports. I think I might do this once a week. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys are like, eh, I'm not really into sports, let me know in the comments. Say like, ah, it's not my thing. Now I'll know. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine yards. I'll see you guys later.